How's everybody? All right? Great. Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good job, guys. Everything is important, but historic election also in the city of New London. We have a gentleman who is, uh, has gone through the process, knocking on doors, walking the streets, not getting a nomination from a, a town committee, New London Democratic Town Committee, but continued to pound the pavement, continue to push, continue to move. Um, and I think everyone that's in this room and a lot of people can say overwhelmingly uh, won a hard-fought primary on September 13th. And I think I don't need to introduce him, but I want him to say a few words, and he's going to introduce our honored guest, Daryl Venezia. Well, I want to thank our Democratic chairman, who, as he said, we went through a primary, and he loyally supported the endorsed candidate of the committee, but the moment the primary was over, he came right over to our headquarters and said, an hour ago I had 15 Democratic candidates, and I have 15 now, and we're going to get a Democratic mayor elected in New York. <laughs> he has provided the leadership that we need to unify our party, because if we move forward as a unified party, not just at the top of the ticket, but throughout the party, then these wonderful people that you've just been introduced to are all going to get elected. And we are going to bring positive, new leadership to New London. Yeah. Now, in 2010, uh, here in New London, as a New Londoner, I was very happy that we had a candidate for governor that I could support wholeheartedly that I campaigned for, that I attended rallies for, because I knew that Dan Malloy understood cities. As the mayor of Stamford, Dan Malloy did great things for Stamford, and I knew that he would do great things for Connecticut, and he is. I also knew that he was someone who understood the unique challenges, the unique diversity, the unique issues that affect cities, and that he would be a governor who understood the type of leadership we need at the state level to help us here in New London. And he made a special commitment to us, coming to this city again and again and again, not just to win an election, not just to win votes, but because he really, really wants our city and our part of the state to be as valued as the rest of the state of Connecticut. And he has been true to his word on that. this election and in so doing forge a strong partnership with our Democratic governor and Democratic legislature to make sure that New London gets what it needs from the state of Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of moments in the campaign that have been interesting and exciting, but I must say that this is one of the more honored moments for me to be able to stand here and introduce to you the governor of the state of Connecticut, Dan Malloy. generous um, uh, introduction. I very much appreciate it. I'm going to talk about uh, this election of Daryl in, in, in just a moment. Uh, I want to uh, thank all the elected officials and uh, the senator and the state representatives for being here and uh, 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 supporting uh, Democrats. I want to thank you for, for being around and participating and doing what you do uh, every single day in the, in the legislature. We're going to have a busy session on the 26th. We're going to make another down payment on uh, a bioscience of the state of Connecticut, bringing a world-class uh, organization to our state with uh, a history of 26 Nobel uh, Prize uh, winners having been on its faculty. 
uh, as well as uh, uh, committing a lot of money uh, to job growth. We're going to do something in Connecticut uh, in the legislature and the Senate uh, that uh, they can't do in Washington. That's uh, pass a bipartisan jobs bill and appropriate $516 million uh, to bring jobs to the state of Connecticut uh, and to set aside a large portion of that money uh, to go to small businesses. And I was just talking to a fellow who's in the uh, uh, NA business. He's gone from 5 to 12 employees. We're going we're gonna to have incentives in there for him to go to 12 to 20 or 30 uh, if he can. There he is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, quite frankly, I'm wondering what you're doing here. You should be knocking on doors. <laughs> so, so, so you'll get out there and do it uh, as soon as you can. To your great party chair, who has uh, been such a kind uh, and loyal supporter of mine and doing, I think, a great job, and as Daryl said, instantly bringing the party together. Um, um, I, I want to thank him for his leadership and his friendship. Uh, and thank him for his commitment to the Democratic Party, not only here in New London, uh, but in the whole state. Uh, this has been done on an intergenerational basis in that family, and it's great to see him accepting this responsibility. So let me... Uh, let me, uh, let me say this, um, uh, that, that if we wage a contest about the past, whether, which is what Republicans like to do, which is what some of the write-in candidates would like to do. They'd like to wage a contest about the past. And you know, that kind of election, uh, even, even if you win, you lose. Because it is never about the past. It is never about that which has transpired in the, in the past. It has to, by its very nature, if it's progressive politics, be about the future. And, and I think the Democrats who voted on primary day made a decision that it was, in fact, about the future, going in a different direction, with a set of, different set of ideals, and, and, and moving to the bringing people together, Highly and that's future. what it has to be about. It's got to be about investments in infrastructure, about investments in education, about uh, investments in making sure that there's a fair division uh, of opportunity throughout all strata of our society. What we've got to do is make sure that we move New London forward. This is a great, great community. Really? Absolutely un like unbelievable infrastructure in the community. Uh, you should celebrate as you do uh, your past, but we got to get it going again. We got to shake it up. We got to make investments. We got to drive business here. We have to grow the businesses that are here. And to do that, you need a Democratic mayor. That's what you need. about the future, then you know what candidate you have to support. And support is not simply voting on election day. It's making the phone calls. It's knocking on the door. It's making sure people understand what the issues are. It's making sure that if it's rainy, they get out to vote. This is about today through November 8th, making sure that the team that's been assembled by the Democratic Party wins. You should go out and make sure that you do everything in your power. If you haven't writ written a check, write a check. If you haven't knocked on a door, knock on a door. If you haven't passed out le uh, literature, make sure it gets out there. Let's make sure that every citizen of New London understands that this election is not about the past, it's about the future, and we have the ticket to do it. Thank you.